As you sow, so shall you reap. Just as a farmer plants seeds and expects a period of harvest, whatever you sow, you will also reap. Whatever you do unto people will eventually be done unto you. When you choose to treat people right, you will discover that they often reciprocate and behave more positively toward you too. It may take time, as seeds often take time to grow, but your words, actions, or thoughts eventually always yield their harvest. They may return to you as love, money, or happiness. You should therefore be kind and courteous to people irrespective of the circumstance. Remember, your actions and even your reactions will come back to you somehow. Number 2. The Law of Creation You attract what you are, not what you want. The law of creation teaches us that we are more in control of our own lives than we know. Most people often blame others for the wrong things that happen to them, instead of taking accountability and striving to shape their own destinies. Do not take a back seat in your own life. Seize the opportunities and ideas that come to you and make the best of them. Also, note that you eventually become whatever you continue to see around you. So surround yourself with things that are in line with where you are going and what you want to be. This doesn't mean you should try to change the people around you. If you try to do this, you may not succeed. Instead, work toward improving yourself, because only you are responsible for what happens to you. Number 3. The Law of Humility What you resist, persists. In life, for you to tackle problems and find solutions, you have to first admit that you have such problems and challenges. It is often our inability to accept that we have certain struggles that hinder us from finding solutions. But you can't change a situation without coming to terms with it. When you continually see something negative going on in your life and you refuse to accept that it exists, you basically start building up negative energy against it. And unfortunately, this energy comes to reside inside of you. On the other hand, when you learn to accept that you have these problems, you come to acknowledge that the power to affect change and find solutions also rests within you. So take a proper look at your life, assessing everything thoroughly, both the negatives and the positives. Accept your reality and where you're at. Then you will find the strength to make the necessary changes. Number 4. The Law of Growth Wherever you go, there you will be. If you want to grow and make your dreams and visions a reality, you have to realize that your inner life controls the outer world. Your thoughts eventually become what you act upon, and your actions frame your world. To change your world and grow, you have to change its core fabric, your thoughts. Harboring negative thoughts will create a negative environment, while positive thinking is the only thing that will build you a positive world. Keep restructuring your reality by improving your thoughts and choices and you will grow to achieve all that you dream of. Number 5. The Law of Responsibility Our lives are of our own doing, nothing else. This law, like the law of creation, focuses on the fact that our reality is a continuous reflection of our state of mind. When you notice commotion and turmoil around you, you have to start taking responsibility for the situation you find yourself in. Start taking steps to get out of these kinds of situations by taking time to engage in deep inner reflection and pursuing peace. Even when something terrible happens to you unexpectedly, do not waste time mulling over the experience. Instead, learn the lessons and take responsibility for making things better. When you become responsible for all your thoughts and actions, you have a sense of control which is necessary to push yourself forward. Number 6. The Law of Connection Everything you do is somehow connected. The past, present, and the future are all connected, and your past and present hold significant sway over your future. You should realize that no one step will suddenly shoot you into that future of your dreams. Every single step you have ever taken and the ones you take right now are equally important. Your future is actually a culmination of your previous choices and steps, so all of them count. Therefore, make an effort to take steps which are consistent with your destination. Only that way can you get there. Number 7. The Law of Focus You cannot think of two things at the same time. In your quest for improvement, it is vital that you concentrate on the things that truly matter. The Law of Focus helps you place your attention on those values that will primarily assist you in attaining the heights you seek. Focusing on positive emotions, development, and goals will leave you with no time to focus on negative things, 
And that's a good thing, isn't it? When you find yourself in not so pleasant circumstances, always look on the brighter side. It might be a difficult thing to do, but when you form the habit of recognizing the lessons in negative events, you will learn from these experiences and get even better. Number eight, the law of giving and hospitality. Demonstrating our selflessness shows true intentions. It is impossible to have a belief that wouldn't reflect in our actions. Truthfully, our actions are surer proof that we really believe. If a life of meaningful impact is what you truly seek, then selflessness is a cardinal virtue you have to demonstrate continually. You should learn to be accommodating, open, and helpful to people, even when you barely know them. When this becomes your life habit, it is proof that you have attained some form of growth because truly matured people lead selfless lives. They're always ready to give and help the growth and improvement of others. Number nine, the law of presence. One cannot be present if they are looking backward or for that matter, forward. This law is a tricky one because it seems to imply that the past and future don't matter, somewhat seeming to contradict the sixth law. But that's not really the case. Let's look at it like this. As humans, we often have the tendency to get caught up in thoughts about past achievements or failures. And sometimes it's living in our dreams of the future that hinder us from seeing the potential of the present. We tend to forget that the present counts much more than the past and the future. Actually, the steps you take in the present are more important than the memories of the past and the dreams of the future. You need to learn how to deal with the past and the future while living in the present. Use lessons from the past and use your dreams of a grand future to drive yourself to take the necessary steps that are required right now. Number 10, the law of change. History repeats itself unless changed. Nothing changes unless you change it. That is the law of change. For you to correct negative choices and bad habits, it's not enough to merely make up your mind to do it. You have to take action in order for the changes to actually come to fruition. If you discover a negative trend in your life, then you have to make an effort to turn it around. Even though true change begins from within, it never ends there. Go from resolutions to taking action. Do something about your decisions. This is the only way you can grow and get better. This is the only way to create positive change. Number 11, the law of patience and reward. Nothing of value is created without a patient mindset. Reward comes with being patient. No matter how long it takes, if you persistently continue to sow the seeds of hard work, in time, the reward will eventually come. You have to continue to persist and make decisions that are consistent with your goals. Focus on the process and do your best every day. Don't get caught up in comparing yourself to others who are seemingly achieving more. If you truly understand your worth, you won't bother with comparisons. Hard work eventually pays off. Even if it takes time, you just have to be patient. Number 12, the law of significance and inspiration. The best reward is one that contributes to the whole. This last law and the first law are quite similar. The first law focuses on the individual, while the last law focuses on the collective effects of actions. It is true that you will eventually reap what you sow, but we should also realize that our individual decisions and actions become our eventual contributions to society. All of our intentions and actions build up massive energy that creates results that affect all of us. This energy is eventually transmitted into our society and the world at large. So make sure your actions provide value and inspiration to others. Make a conscious effort to be good to people. Pursue your goals and passions. Lead by example.